Hello everyone, this is Sudhan Tre here. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you the basics of Python programming language. This is the second video of a series where all basics of Python will be uploaded video after video. However, please do note I am only going to be teaching the basics of Python starting from literally printing. So, if you think you are fluent with the basic topics including user inputs and math functions, you can watch my future videos on the topic as and when they are uploaded. So as you can see currently I'm on the PyCharm window and now this is just the code from the last video of Python basics part one. It's already commented out. So uh, now let's have a look at what in user inputs are. So user inputs are essentially just questions which are asked to the user and the user is supposed to provide an input value for those questions. And if the computer is instructed to do so, the computer can store those data values into the system. So let's begin. So for example, I want to ask the user his name. So I'll define a variable as name and then I'll put in this piece of command, which is input. Then I'll ask the user what is your name. Then the user can input his name. Let's see how this works. So for example, my name is Tom. So as I just pressed enter, the code terminated and now it printed out process finished with exit code zero. That means the code is over. Now, what if I want to print the name Tom? So Tom is essentially just the input which is being provided to this question, which is nothing but the variable name. So all I need to do is print name. Let's see how this works. So Tom, as you can see, it printed out Tom. Uh, now, what if I want to tell the user your name is Tom? So for that, I'll just need to put in your name is space plus name your name is tom so now let's ask the user for his age so age is equal to input the same command once again type in your age now let's print age so once again, Tom, your name is Tom. And for example, Tom is 17 years old, so 17. And it printed out 17. Now, what if I want to print you are 17 years old? So I'm going to do that in this way. You are space years old. And I'll put another space here to maintain appropriate spacing in the sentence. So basically what it's going to do is print you are O. It will print you are plus age, which is the input, which is 17, 17 and then years old. But one error which we are facing in this is that age is just taking a normal input. Uh, that means age can take an input as any data type, a string, integer, floating point number or a boolean. However, we obviously know that age will be an integer value because someone's age can't be a string value or a boolean value right so i'm going to type cast this into an integer close this bracket right here and i'm going to get one error when i print this so let me explain after running this code so tom 17 as you can see this error can only concatenate string to a string and not to an integer so what error happened here is that we are printing an integer data type along with a string data type which is not possible in python that's why it is showing an error can only concatenate string to a string and not to an integer so what we need to do just basically is we need to typecast the age to a string value str age and now the system is going to recognize age as in as an integer in this input but it's going to convert the age value into a string into in this line and it's going to print it out let's see how this works so tom 17 and now it printed out perfectly without any errors you are 17 years old now let's see the data type for floating point numbers so for example someone's height we lost someone their height so height is equal to input enter your height in centimeters and then we'll just print height tom 17 for example tom's 180 centimeters 
Yeah. So now it printed out the height as well. But what if we want to print u r no plus u r one eighty plus cm tall and height it will be a floating point number. So we'll type cast the height input into a floating point. Now it'll give us another error it will give us the same error but this time it will give us an error can only concatenate a string to a string and not to a float so tom 17 180 can only concatenate string to a string and not to a float so as i told in this part you'll have to convert the height into a string data type so that the computer prints it out as a string along with these strings now it should work absolutely fine 17 180. You are 17 years old, you are 180.0 cm tall. It printed out 180.0 because it's a floating point number and a point zero is necessary because a float and an integer has the main difference as the decimal place. So 180.0 cm tall. That was it about user inputs. So now let's have a look at what math is. Let me import the math library for this. So import math and then let's just define a variable as a and let's just keep a number as 2.56 so now let's learn a few math functions so for rounding this number to the nearest whole number we are going to do print bracket round bracket a so that should give the answer as 3 because 2.56 rounded to the nearest whole number is 3 so it printed out 3 now let's comment this out now what if we want to print this value to the nearest whole number which is greater than this so i'll just do print math dot seal the seal here stands for ceiling and a so once again it printed out three because 2.56 rounded up is three now let's comment this out again now what if i want to print this value rounded down to the nearest whole number so for that i'll just do math dot floor bracket a so it printed out 2 because 2.56 rounded down to the nearest whole number is 2 now what if i want to print out the absolute value for this so i'll do print bracket apps bracket a so what absolute value essentially means is that absolute value is going to show the distance of the number from 0 so the distance of 2.56 from 0 is just 2.56 it's going to print out 2.56 yeah but usually absolute is used for negative number so let's for example put a negative 2.56 it will still print out the value of 2.56 because the distance of negative 2.56 from 0 is also 2.56 so as you can see it printed out 2.56 now what if i want to raise this number to the power of 2 let's make this 2.56 again so for that i will do print pow bracket a comma 2 that will basically just give us the square of this number now let's comment this out again then print now what if i want to print the square root of this number so square root of 2.56 for that i'll just do print bracket math dot sqrt bracket a let's see how this works so it printed out 1.6 which is basically just the square root of 2.56 so i'll comment this out again and now uh let's define three different variables so for example b is equal to 3.23 and c is equal to 6.79 so now what if i want to print the largest number out of these three numbers so what i'll do is print bracket max bracket a comma b comma c as you can see it printed out 6.79 which is obviously the largest number out of the lot and now what if i want to print the le least number in the lot i'll just do print bracket min a b c so it printed out the smallest number which is 2.56 so that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video please smash the like button also please do subscribe to my youtube channel siddhan's coding world see you soon everyone bye for now